an essential ingredient to my home repair shop is this compressor which as you can see has a broken motor mount and uh, I could just take it to a water I could just buy a new mount but I, I wanted to give JB Weld a try just because I was kind of you know I saw it in in the auto store and, and it's like yeah well let's try to fix this compressor before it grows too bad and is absolutely unusable so here you see me taking off the bottom right now I'm trying to line it up perfect so when I put this stuff on and I get it all pressed down everything is lined up and right the way it was when it was made and now you see me mixing a JB Weld, which is even parts, no matter how much you're mixing. Try to get it as close to, to evenly mixed as possible, 50-50. Well, I'm just using a Q-tip here. You can use anything you get your hands on. I think it's too much of a big deal. Just get it mixed up to where it's that dark gray color. And that should do you good. How much you mix just depends on what you're trying to fix. Because the compressor is a little bit off balance, which is probably why this uh, this motor mount broke in the first place. And I'm putting a little spacer up under there to press up under the motor mount in order to make a tighter connection there. I want it as tight as it can get and as lined up as I can get it. And now I'm putting some of the JB Weld on the outside of the crack. sides of the crib. And I'm going to have to put white on this job just to keep it, you know, forced together. And, and it takes a while to dry. Um, up to 24 hours to completely cure. So now that I have it all set up and all ready with white on it, there should be no reason that I can see at this point for this not to work. So I'm going to give it 24 complete hours to give it a fair chance to do its job and to leave no excuses if it does not work. And here you see me checking it the following morning, which was about after 16 hours. And after 20, actually 25 or 26 hours, I came back, removed the weight. And now before I start, you know, before I tighten up the bolts and start it up again, I want to put a spacer up underneath that broken motor mount just to keep everything balanced and, and not rattling around and not loosening up or breaking again. And here you see me setting the spacer into place. And here I'm just tightening these bolts down um, before I go ahead and start it up. And it looks like it simply did not work. 
it's not vibrating near as much as it was and that's because the bolt on the left side is a lot tighter than when I first made this video. Um, but you can see it, it, it simply did not work. Did I do something wrong? Did I mix it wrong? Does it simply not work on this particular material? I mean, what, you know, did I not use enough? Um, this could be my fault, but in this case and in this video, this did not work. And I think I would have been better off using super glue or gorilla glue to fix this. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even look like it, it touched it. So, you know, what do you do? I mean, you can go out and, and or you could try JB Weld again. Uh, you know, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's not going to work. Well, the best thing to do is to go out and take it to a welder and um, tell them, that, I mean, they can take care of this in less than a minute. And there won't be any problem to weld that. Or I could just, you know, try to find that, you know, that part to fix it. Uh, say la vie, it did not work.